guys wanted a video showing how I play my music. Um, I use the iSimple. An iSimple module that I use in my car. Because a lot of people still asking me. I don't think they actually know. So, um, I have an iSimple 651 module in the car. It's been over two years that I've had it now. The module still works great. I have an option between USB, Bluetooth, satellite radio, auxiliary one. That's like a headphones jack that I have here in the glove box uh, that comes with the module. It also has AV jacks that I left down here that I'm not using that I take off. Um, I also have... Um, oh, it's raining now. iPod USB. I have like a USB port in here. And uh can't really see it too well, but a USB port in here. USB stick that I drilled a hole in. And it's a pocket to put it in. So you can plug your iPod in there in the USB port and you can connect it to the iPod through the iPod Bluetooth also. I use the USB stick. What I do is I upload the movies, I mean the songs onto it. And what I do is be, uh, in order for it to play on this module, you have to format it to a FAT32 drive. So the USB stick, you gotta format it to a FAT32 in order for this unit to pick it up. To this unit to pick it up. Um, if you don't format it, it's it's just not gonna work. It's just going to mess up. It's not going to work. And you're just going to be pissed off and upset. Because it's not going to play. You have to. You have to do that. In order to get it right. Um, also what I have connected to it. Is I have two 12's in the trunk. Uh, to a. What is it? A 1500 watt amp. And I got a bass control knob here. That I use right here. Uh. For the people who have met me in real life and have been in my car, they've heard my stereo. For everybody that's saying, yeah, I got a boss amp and it's a piece of crap. And you got to literally sit in this car and literally hear the sound, the bass that's coming from the back from this system for for it being under four hundred dollars. Um, I can literally turn up the bass and it'll really literally like kick the windows like really hard. Like it's just the unit itself. It's 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 good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying any aftermarket unit is flawless. It's not flawless, but it works great. Like I never have any problem with the USB stick. I'm using it all the time. It also has a reset button. Also. Um, I have an install video showing how to install it. I have a button here that I was going to install here on the side somewhere or whatever. But I didn't get to that. I just took it and was like, you know what, I'm just going to leave it in the glove box. And when I want to hit it, I'll just hit the button to restart the unit or whatever. But the unit works great. The music, as you guys can hear, it's super clear. The music is super clear. I just download the music, put it onto the USB stick, and it plays automatically. I don't have to worry about running out of tracks because I have tons of tracks on here um the steering wheel controls move they turn up the volume they change the songs the steering wheel controls work they work the steering wheel controls work so i'm letting you guys know it, it does work the steering wheel controls work um you can change the songs from here you can change the display mode Showing the title of the song, which I don't have here. The channel name, which I doesn't have. And the XM channel one that it's using, and it'll show that it's a USB. If it was a song that actually had a, a name, which I'm going to go to, see? They got a, a, a Tory Lane song, you know, and then you put the title. You click here on this, the display mode, and it says love. That's the name of the song. Channel name and the XM. The USB, which I'm using, uh, and the name, Tory Lanez is the guy. And it works on the factory stereo. I didn't have to take out the factory head unit in order to add this to it and add all of this other stuff. Even if I wanted to, I can use the Bluetooth through the car, through this unit. I can use the Bluetooth. And it also came with another, another, um, 
uh, microphone. It has a microphone that came with it. So I actually have the factory Bluetooth and the the factory Bluetooth that comes with the car and the aftermarket um, Bluetooth that came with this module also. So I have two Bluetooth setups in here. I have one that has Bluetooth audio and phone and then I have one that just has Bluetooth phone. That's the car's thing. But what I did was with your phone, you have the option of whether you want Bluetooth audio and phone on just the iSimple or you can just the way I set it up is where I have the factory system taking phone calls through the factory system where I can end the calls and make phone calls and things like that. The system is locked. What is the four digit passcode? Like things like that. Like I like it like that where I can use that to receive my phone calls. So my phone calls will come through the head unit. And even with even if a call comes through and you're using the USB It'll it'll shut off the song and your your um phone call will come through and as soon as the phone call ends, boom, the um the call comes right back on. I mean the the music comes right back on. It's a great module. Um, if you guys want more information on it, check out my video. It's called um iSimple six five one install in my tutorial section. Um, I even have an install video to show how to install in the TL. Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.